What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 7th and final stage of the UAE Tour. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous stages, please make sure uh, to do so so that you can understand what's going on with GC. Um, last stage, completely flat, uh, so maybe a third win for Fernando Guevara, uh, at least that's what I'm going for. And um, yeah, see you in the race so I can show you uh, what the GC for what's going probably to be a, a very, very boring stage, I guess. Right, we're on the start uh, of this final stage of the UAE Tour. Um, quite a nice tour, to be, fully, to be fully honest. Uh, I haven't been as good as I would have liked to, but, I mean, that's just because of me and not because of the tour. So, yeah, again, if you want to play the tour, uh, the database is in the description down below. Um, but now it's a sprint stage, so um, we'll just try and uh, get our third win, as I said, with Fernando Gaviria. Um, for now, I think two out of two sprints on sprint stages. Uh, we've got one win also with Dan Martin. Uh, I'm just going to show you the GC in a second, uh, as soon as I'll have uh, Lengen and Costa back in the peloton. Well, like when they'll stop uh, messing about in the middle of the peloton, if I'm uh, clearer. Okay, we're good. Um, GC, there we go. So, Primoz Roglic uh, is most likely going to win the um, the UAE Tour. Sorry, uh, one second ahead of Tom Dumoulin, uh, despite his win as a, a, at the Jebel Jace, um, he's still going to, going to end up second. Uh, Rich Port is third. Uh, he was the big winner of yesterday's stage, um, where I completely, I don't know, Dan Martin just choked. Um, Nibali 4th, Valverde 5th, Dan Martin 6th, um, then Galopin Van Garderen, Yanni Moscon, and Michal Kutkowski. Um, sprint wise, Dan Martin is currently wearing the green jersey, uh, one point ahead of Fernando Guevara, so there is, there's a high possibility that we bring the jersey home, uh, most likely with Fernando Guevara, but I mean, I'm not ruling any, uh, possibilities, mountain standing, there's none. Yanni Moscon is going to be uh, the young rider, uh, the best young rider at the end of the race uh, unless something happens like a retirement or like a breakaway with David Godu who wins by more than 5 minutes and 13 seconds over the peloton um, but um, I mean I don't think that's going to happen um, quite weird to see James Knox in 10th position of the um, the young rider standings when you know, he finished in the top 10 I think of the GC so, like in real life uh, so props to him, didn't know who he was but well done uh, team standings, we're currently leading 2 minutes 29 over Team Bahrain Merida. Um, and there's a breakaway, as I was talking. Um, Sean Bennett, as always, uh, Andrew Perron, second breakaway for him as well. You've got also uh, players like Davide Villela and uh, Quentin Jauregui for uh, Age Deser. Oh, nice stats! Wow, he's, he's like the kind of rider you could get in your team. 70 mountain, 70 sprint. I like that. Okay. Um, Manuel Boiro for Astana, Jan Tratnik for Bahrain, and um, I think Mohamed Ben Hamouda for uh, for Novo Nordisk in a second group. Peloton is being led by Remco Evenepoel and Maxime Montfort. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm just going to check the sprinters. Uh, minus one for Gaviria, minus one for Christoph. That's not going to be good. Uh, but we should eventually probably at least fight for the win, I guess. Uh, see if something happens. Uh, okay, 36 kilometers remaining. Uh, I completely forgot that was a like a, a very short stage because um, I went to do something, came back, um, like I stayed in times eight, uh, just like to get a drink. There was like 30 kilometers remaining, so yeah, that that was weird. Uh, there's an intermediate sprint breakaway still um, alive with uh, about a minute. Uh, so they'll eventually get co-op, um, don't know when, but they will. Um, Adam Bliss is uh, leading the peloton with now Fabio Sabatini, so like the team of sprinters are trying to show uh, to show their, sp their, well, their nose. That, that's a French saying, don't know if it exists uh, in, in England, so apologies if it doesn't, and if you're like, the fuck is this guy talking about? Uh, <laughs> but you've got Adam Hansen leading the peloton with Andrea Medor, um, Jascha Sutelin, Still a minute for the breakaway as uh, we now enter the last 20 kilometers of the UAE Tour. Uh, we're gonna 
like build our train. Give you a Christoph, Ulissi, uh Let's have Dan Martin. I'm really not confident in Olivier or Troyer for some reason. Um, and Dan Martin, Diego Costa. Alright, we're just going to try and pace this for uh, a bit of time as we now have 14 kilometers left. I was about to say Diego Costa. Um, okay, Costa on the left, uh, who just completely destroyed my plan of going on the left. Thank you, Rui. Breakaway still here, 34 seconds for uh, the seven men group. Um, as James Knox is trying, um, well, he's, he's giving his best to uh, help Elia Viviani get, uh, getting uh, another second place. Uh, or, or worse, he's not winning, I'm winning. Alright, Ricosta at the front of the peloton, doing his job now for, uh, for his leader, Fernando Gaviria. 6.9 kilometers to go. I may have launched the, like my train a bit early. We're just going to slow down for a second. And uh, we're going to be under the, f the last 5 kilometers. As uh, Dan Martin now makes his effort towards the finish line. Where's Gaviria? Okay, he's there. Uh, Costa, you can chill. Breakaway is going to get co-op with less than 3 kilometers just before the sprint. The breakaway is going to say goodbye to all hope of winning. Jigulisi launches a sprint. Christoph and Gaviria in the wheel. Christoph, 1.3 kilometers, launches a sprint. Gaviria's a bit far down. Gaviria's a bit far. Gaviria launches a sprint. Can he get it? Can he get the win? He probably can. Yes, he does. Fernando Gaviria wins from Alexander Christoph, Mark Cavendish, Alejandro Valverde, Marcel Ketor, Lilia Viviani, Sasha Modolo, Jigulisi, Jakub Oreshko, and Michael Markov. Of, uh, are you top 10? Well, is your top 10, I guess. Uh, last place is Remco Evenepoel. Uh, but very nice sprint. Very nice sprint. I enjoyed that. Uh, there was a bit of a mis mis misunderstanding. Sorry. Uh, after Christoph launched the sprint, Gavira couldn't take the wheel. Uh, but eventually he came back and uh, got his third win of the UAE Tour at the Dubai City Walk. Uh, a disappointing place for Viviane. I said he was going to get second. Couldn't even do that. Uh, no Caleb you win on site. But Primoz Roglic is your winner for the UAE Tour. Tom Dumoulin second, Richie Port, Nibali Valverde, Dan Martin. Nothing at all changed uh, on the GC. Uh, Green jersey is probably the only thing that changed with Gaviria. Uh, Christoph second, Dan Martin third. So nice hat trick for the UAE, uh, the UAE boys. Uh, I, I mean, that was, that was cool. Well done. Um, Yanni Moscon is the best young rider, and we are the best team. So yeah, that's it for the UAE Tour. If you enjoyed uh, this stage and the whole tour, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a like down below, that would really help me out. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers. Uh, we're close to it, but not quite. So like, the more you help, the better. Uh, it's just like very, very nice of you, very kind. Um, follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. Uh, I forgot to say, but you comment on the video if there's anything you want to say. Um, next video is today as well, double upload day. Uh, I think that's the Home Lopet News Belt, uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I've been Blackwall, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye.